Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brony, and sorry if you hear blowing in the background, it's just my fan. It's kind of hot in my room. Here in Southern California, it's starting to get into the high temperatures, especially in my room in the afternoon, it really gets hot. And I don't have a central AC. Uh, so anyways, I'm here to make a little follow-up video on what's going on with me in the RC world. Um, the real question is, am I dead? in RCs, it's FHRC Brony uh, losing interest in RCs, um, absolutely not. Um, the real reason why I haven't done a lot of RCs is not just because of Forza videos, but it's just the lack of uh, locations that I can think of driving it because number one, uh, my house, my apartment complex has this certain rule that nobody should drive any noisy cars or bicycles or scooters and stuff like that or anything that can actually make the neighbor kind of complain. Which is kind of which is kind of funny though because my, my this rustler right here, even my slash, is not even that loud. Um, the only exception is my onboard audio, and ever since I uh, put some parts into this rustler, and I never ha haven't used the haven't used the onboard audio f since like. I don't know, since January, and where I broke my, most of my parts of my slash and put most of it onto my rustler, so we, that's kind of weird though because I, out of all the times I've been driving this rustler, um, I had no complaints of of anybody like saying that this thing is too noisy, um, but due to the fact that there was like rambunctious kids out there out, outside my apartment complex. Uh, being complete idiots and stuff like that, and that limited me to drive my car out over here in the park in the parking lot of my house. So that's gonna that's gonna be a, a hard decision for me to do because if I want to keep making RC videos for you guys, I have to go outside my apartment complex and and drive my car on that open road, or I could take the risk and drive my car in front of my parking in front of my parking lot and hopefully just do it during the afternoon where most people are usually at work and not usually at home so that that could be that could be a a, a solution but most likely I won't be making RC videos as that I'm usually used to especially with my old videos where I usually make a lot of RCs yeah it's just the reason why I haven't done a lot of RCs is because I cannot have any and I'm, I'm lacking on location because of the, these new house rules that I had to go through. So if I want to make RC videos for you guys, I had to go drive it outside my apartment complex or wait until like midday or something where most people are not home. Um, but that's what's really going on with me in the RC world. That I'm not letting no house rules or anything like that stop me from loving RCs and driving RCs and stuff like that. I will always have. I will always find a way to actually drive my cars, and whenever the time comes. And also, I've been making too much Forza videos, so why not? I need to try to at least balance my my um, my work here on the channel. Uh, but aside from that, the Brustler is still in perfect condition. Oops, sorry if I moved the camera there. Um, okay. But aside from aside from those issues, my rustler is still in perfect condition right now. It's still running as as brand new and stuff like that. The only thing that I've actually broke on this one is uh, this this piece right here. This uh, rear suspension arm. And uh, not too a few months ago, I actually broke broke an A. Um, a shock tower and that piece right there is came from a slash um, so I need to find a replacement I need to get a replacement part for the slash and hopefully upgrade that with RPM and stuff like that because I don't want to go aluminum I, I was thinking about going aluminum but out of all the hobby stores I went to their workers and previous experience from other people they said don't go aluminum because they will bend and when they bend you cannot bring it back Wraps with plastic. When they do, they, they're pretty flexible. So when it does bend, it it comes back. It, it it's just like yeah, 
a bounce back on its own. Uh, what else? Um, like I said before, um, when I first got this car as a roller, this is not the original condition. Um, I don't have a an ESC mount for this one, so it's just hanging out there. On, uh, I'm holding on one screw, and the receiver uh, fell off out of the the double sided tape, so I need to replace that. Um, I am not going to put a waterproof box for this one because. I know some of you guys are thinking it's going to be it's kind of stupid. Why would you do that? Um, the reason for this is I, I don't really go hard on water. So, like, what's the whole purpose of me ha having that thing in the first place? I mean, it could, it's a good idea to put it there just in case. But but for someone who's not really driving an RC on the water, even though the car is, is so-called waterproof in a sense, I mean, what's the whole purpose of me driving it on water if I'm not really going to be going hard on it? On the on water, so yeah. But most of these parts uh, that that you're seeing here, all the electronics uh, as far as it goes, are from my slash, except the motor. The motor is a. Let me put the body back on. The motor is a Associator Reedy Radden. I actually had this on my slash, um, my first slash, back in 2000. And 16, 2015, 2016, somewhere around there. I had a, I had that kind of motor there. It's not a bad motor, but it's it's a brush motor though. I mean, it's, these days most people are not really driving brush motors. Most people are saying like, ooh, that thing was slow as that thing is slow as hell. You should get a go. You should go brushless on that. Blah 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 blah. Honestly, we're spoiled. Uh, I mean, I love going fast on RCs because. I had a slash. When I had my other slash back in 2015, 2016, I put, I installed a Castle Sidewinder 3, and then uh, and then eventually I went up to a Castle Mamba Max Pro, and my God, that thing on 3S LiPo, even on 7 cell nickel metal hydride, that thing is like a monster to drive. It was a lot of fun and really fast. But the only problem is my my Sidewinder broke down, didn't work anymore. My ESC decided to give up, and my Mamba Max Pro. The, the EC also had a problem too, but the difference between the one that I had with the Sidewinder 3 is the Mama Max Pro actually caught on fire. Yeah, it caught on fire. But aside from that, it was a it was the time of my life. So, I decided not to spend hundreds of bucks on just buying new systems just to have, just to go fast. I'll just rather stick with brushed on these off-roads. And besides, I still can kick rooster tails with, with the brush motor. And also, I have a fr not a friend, but a, I had a few, I had a few commenters on a on a RC group on Facebook that I'm in. They're telling me that hey, even even on small tracks, the where I mo where I mostly see people driving brushless, even a good driver who's driving a brush motor power car can still keep up with brushless because. Sometimes, going fast isn't always the solution. It's just the same thing in my situation in Forza Horizon 1. I've always driven, I've, al I've always driven my Honda NSX, uh, which is an S-Class. And that thing is not very fast at all. That thing can go like 180 miles an hour, but it can go around corners like nothing. And yet alone, I can still beat R1-class Ferraris and Lambos. It's all about the driver skill, not your car all the time. You can still have a really fast car and still be shit at it. Or you can still be driving a really slow car, but still have really good driving skills and still keep up with the pack. I mean, honestly, the Slash and Rustler will not be keeping up with the with the pack, even just because they're not really uh, race ready. They're not uh, nowhere in race uh, race racing specs. But I'm just saying, like, you don't really need to go brushless just to have fun or anything like that. I'm driving this car brush and it's gonna keep I'm gonna keep it brush. Same thing with my slash. The only time that I'm gonna make an RC car go brushless is my upcoming Traxxas Fortech 2.0. Because I'm planning to actually do a speed run with that thing. And I'm gonna well first of all I'm gonna actually gonna I'm probably gonna buy it a as a brush car because the Ford GT body comes with it or you can get the one with the Mustang. I prefer to get the one with the GT body. Because I actually love the looks of the Ford GT. It looks beautiful. But I just I just have a feeling that I don't want to break that thing. But I'm still going to get the Ford GT body 
on it, so it's going to be most likely a XL5. Yeah. It's going to be the XL5 version, so it's not going to be those VXL ones where it's bodiless. I mean, I had to buy a separate body for it. Um, and besides, I don't really have any, I don't really have high hopes with VXLs. Um, after previous um, experiences with one, I, I never owned one, but I actually driven one with it. They're not bad until until I heard of about a few months later. If you go really hard on it, it, it actually um, goes bad on it. But prove me wrong. I mean, try to convince me that hey, VXL is a really good buy. To be honest, so try to prove me on that. But I would, if I was going to go brushless on my Fortech, my upcoming Fortech, I would put a Castle Castle system on it because I have. I have more trust on Castle than pretty much almost any other brand. And plus they're programmable without having to actually use a programming card just to just just do some basic programming on and stuff like that. Uh, I know how to program a Castle system, don't worry guys. So this is going to be staying brushed. Um, that's also my Slash will stay brushed. So the only car in my RC collection that's going to be it's going to be brushless as my upcoming tracks is Fortec 2.0. Uh, any other news on RCs? Not really. Um, um, going back to the um, driving restrictions where I, I cannot really drive my RC here on, in front of my parking lot on my house. I could go to my local RC hobby, hobby store, sorry. My local RC track, which is not far from my house here. It's like a 15 minute drive. I could do that to show you guys the track, but the only problem is, it's uh, I have to pay twenty bucks just to get there, and I don't have money for that. So, but whenever I do have the chance, I could probably probably drop my car there. So, what else? And as you can see, I got the, there's antenna that's taped around here uh, around the car because. Uh, this is too thick, and I cannot put it through that tube, that regular tube. And um, it's, uh, I don't know, it, it's not, it, it's complicated to explain, but um, it's going to be like that. But at least I still get enough radio range that I can drive it on a small area. Sorry, the chair squeaked. Well, anyways, that's what's been going on with me in the RC world. Sorry about that. I haven't really done a lot of RCs, so sorry for the lack of that. But uh, I'll hopefully make some RC videos, especially this summer, where I'm usually at my hanging out with my cousins and stuff because they have RCs there. So be on the lookout for that summer bash session again, and hopefully get my slash running. Hopefully get this running soon because this car is is still in good condition to run. Um, I got freshly charged batteries right now, so be on the lookout for that. So, like I said, sorry for not being in the RC hobby for a while, but I'll come back as much as I can and make some more RC videos for you guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed that little update video, and I will see you guys later.